Once we incarcerate kids as juveniles, the likelihood that they will be incarcerated as adults significantly increases. By keeping kids in community and out of cages, the Kentucky Diversion Program is yielding very significant outcomes. Over 90% of the kids are actually succeeding in their diversion opportunities. To not go to court, but go to a community-based program and then have their records clean at the end of that process. And nearly 80% of those kids will never have contact with the system again. If we can prevent a child from coming into the system, then we've gone a long way toward preventing that child at becoming an adult who is part of the system. We have to invest in these children. We have to do our part. Everyone agrees that we need to spend more money on juveniles and their families in the community uh, that need help. It's got nothing to do with partisanship or, or partisan values of one part or the other. I think it's important to recognize that the changes involved do good for the children involved and can change the path of your state for the better. We don't look for kids to fail or to be set up to fail. Our goal is to always find opportunities for our youth to be successful. When it comes to addressing racial and ethnic disparity, Kentucky's taking a very intentional role in making sure that we adjust policies and protocols that we have in place to make sure that the best outcomes that our system can offer for kids is available to all kids. You can look at the data comparing black youth to white youth. And so when we do that, we still have significant disproportionality. Minority kids may be brought into the system so that they might access treatment, whereas affluent kids are left out of the system because they have that treatment already in place. In most jurisdictions in Kentucky, especially those who have large minority populations, the approach is how can we have or build the resources within those minority communities to give minority kids access to the same community-based um, diversion opportunities as opposed to committing them to our Department of Juvenile Justice to access treatment or opportunities. In fact, Kentucky Court of Justice created and published a model on how to address racial and ethnic disparities that other jurisdictions across the country are looking at. We may not be able to impact the entire system around things like racial and ethnic disparities, but we can look at our own points of contact. We can find better ways for our responses through our engagement with our youth and with our communities. Diversions work. Uh, most cases don't need to come into court. We can show you that when you front load services for juveniles, when you divert these cases from the criminal justice system and from the court system at all, from detention, not only are you saving money for the taxpayer, but you're changing the trajectory of these children's lives. And I think that that can help continue to change that narrative here in Kentucky and around the country.